Hello, and welcome back to the Web Dev Coach, where my goal is to teach you web development. I've decided to make a series of videos where I go through um, using TypeScript with React. Um, I'll start off the series by showing uh, you how to install or add TypeScript to your favorite React application. In this video, we'll go over adding TypeScript to create React app, either existing applications or new applications. Now, to add it to a new application, you'll be uh, using this script here, npx create react app, et cetera, et cetera. And to um, add to an existing application, you'll use this script uh, on the bottom there. Now, obviously, it's a little difficult for you to rip this script off my screen, uh, but luckily, I actually created a website called reactandtypescript.dev where I make all these scripts available in one place. So you'll see on the sidebar there is installation. You can click create react app and get the scripts right here with npm, with yarn, etc. Okay, let's go over the first scenario here where we create a new application with TypeScript from the beginning. So let's go to the terminal and let's go to, uh, you know, the folder where you keep your projects and we'll type exactly this, npm create new React app and uh, example app dash dash TypeScript. This will kick off, uh, you know, the download stage of the uh, Create React App application. You don't need to see this on my screen, so I'll stop the video here and uh, continue once this is all installed. And there we are. We're all done um, installing our application. Let's open up this application. I'm going to open up, open the application up in VS Code. Let's open up the source folder. And you'll see that all the um, starter files are already in TypeScript. They're already in TSX. Now, if you don't know TypeScript, uh, this would be a great time to learn how to use TypeScript with React. And uh, again, I will point over to the website that I'm currently working on that gives examples of how to create functional components, higher order components, etc in React. This time, let's go over adding TypeScript to an existing Create React app application that was installed using just vanilla uh, JSX. No TypeScript at all. So you'll see here that I have a Java, I'm sorry, a React application without TypeScript installed. So I'll want to open up the terminal here on the bottom and I'm just going to copy this installation script. I'll run it here on the bottom uh, terminal. You'll see this is a previously existing Create React app, and I'll install all the packages necessary. Again, I'll stop the video here. Come on back when this is all installed. Okay, now we're all installed here. Let's go ahead and rename uh, your React files to use TSX, just like this. Uh, also, this index file here, uh, that's another uh, React app, uh, file. And we'll rename the service worker to also be TS. Now, you'll see there's no tsconfig.json, something that we need to uh, tell TypeScript exactly how to compile our code. But once we do npm start to restart our development server, it'll detect that this is a TypeScript project and create the TS config for you and create the React app uh, environment declaration file for you. Now, if we go back to our uh, TSX, you'll soon see that uh, this prop here will get an error saying that uh, name is of any type. Of course, you need to learn how to use TypeScript uh, with React to fix this error, but for now, this tells us that TypeScript is finally working with our React application, which is a beautiful thing. So now we've added TypeScript to our React application. That'll be the end of the video. If you have any comments, please comment below. Uh, tell me what you think of the video. Tell me some videos that you would like to see me make. 
please click subscribe to my channel. I'll be adding more TypeScript and React videos in the future. This is the Web Dev Coach. Peace.